If you're trying to figure out what temperature you need to cook your pork butt at, this is the video for you. Hey guys, I am Steve from Cookout Coach. We're all about trying to help you take your barbecue to the next level, no matter what that means. And today what we're gonna be talking about is a simple question. What temperature should I cook my pork butt at? To me, the quintessential barbecue meat of any pit master across pro, backyard, you name it, is barbecue pulled pork. If I was told I could only cook one barbecue meat for the rest of my life, it's barbecue pulled pork and it's coming out of a pork butt. Reason being, I know with this pork butt, I can feed all my friends and family. You can do a lot of different things with a pork butt, not necessarily just pulled pork sandwiches, but like I said, mainly, this is a meat I know is gonna bring people together. So you wanna host your first barbecue of the season, you know you're gonna have pulled pork, but you're just not sure exactly what temperature you should cook it at. Honestly, the best answer to this question is what temperature does your cooker love to run at? All cookers are different, they all have a different sweet spot. And I really recommend with most barbecue, you should let your cooker run at whatever temperature it likes to run at. That being said, if you came to this video and now you're going, Steve, don't cop out of me like that, give me an actual answer. For me, I like to cook my pork butt and most of my barbecue meats at 275 degrees. The reason for 275 degrees is because it's at the top end of low and slow, but it's not hot and fast, so there's no crazy techniques you need to use. If I drop 25 degrees down to 250, I'm still very happy. If I raise 25 degrees up to 300 degrees, I'm still not worried about it. 275 is gonna give me a nice, relaxing day because this is gonna be a long cook. It's gonna be hot and fast enough, however, that we're gonna push through the stall pretty rapidly. This is gonna get done a lot faster than it would if we cooked it, say, 225. All in all, 275 just gives me the most enjoyable experience when it comes to cooking a pork butt. With that being said, the most important number is what the internal temperature of your pork butt is when you take it off the cooker. I really don't care what temperature you want to cook at. All of them will get the job done and most people know barbecue is more of an art than a science. However, to really get that super tender, succulent, pulled pork, I really don't recommend you pull this off your cooker until at least 195. Once you hit 195 internal, grab a temp probe, grab a kebab spear, grab a toothpick, grab something and start poking that meat. And if it feels tender, go ahead and get it off. And if it doesn't feel super tender yet, if there's any resistance, or when you try to take that probe back out, if it holds, leave it on there, let it go another 15 minutes, come back and check it. The weight is always worth it when it comes to barbecue. Me personally, if I'm cooking this for a party, I don't like to take this off the cooker until we hit 206. I know if I do that, it's gonna be tender, succulent, and delicious. If you wanna see just exactly how I cook this pork butt, tune into the next episode when it comes out next week. But till then, if you need to know how to manage your fire at 275, check out this video, and we'll see you over there.